Um, so today I am going to be showing you all the stuff I've picked up from Boots in the last month. I'm sorry that I've not done a video in ages. Everything got a little bit hectic around exam results time and then we had like loads of coursework deadlines. But I'm back now. As you can see, the ombre is gone and that's pretty much all you've missed with my life. But anyway, I love Boots and I'm going on holiday next Thursday. So kind of Boots is one of those places that before you go on holiday, you just swarm and pick up everything that you're gonna need. So the first thing I picked up were some number 17 sunglasses and they just look like this and on <laughs> they look like this I look like such a poser in sunglasses but anyway you need sunglasses they protect you from the sun uh, also when I went in there was a buy one get one half price on Revlon makeup Usually I don't really go towards the Revlon makeup, I usually stay with Rimmel and Maybelline but, uh, last, but last time I bought foundation, I got the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation and got it a shade too dark by accident because one's called Ivory, which is really pale, and one's called True Ivory, which is bright orange and I picked up the True Ivory and I looked a bit odd and so what enticed me towards the Revlon was that Emma Stone uh, does the campaign for their nearly naked makeup and she's really pale and I'm really pale so I thought hey let's give it a go so I picked up the Revlon nearly naked foundation in shade 120 vanilla I think you could get one paler than this but I thought I don't want to look ill uh, I have been loving this like absolutely loving it is absolutely genius it just blends so well easy to apply great coverage throughout the day my only problem with it is that there's no like pump or anything. You pour it on to your hand and sometimes you can get a little carried away. So in the two for one offer, I picked up this nude palette and it is the 545 Attitude palette. That's like the name color. They had loads of different ones with different nudes and also different bright colors. I went for this one because it kind of reminded me of some of the colours in the Urban Decay Naked palette and I will be purchasing that just before I go to university but when I go on holiday I don't really wear a lot of eyeshadow unless it's out in the evening and even then it's only nudes and with like when you're packing you don't want something that takes up too much room I also picked up this which is the Miss Sporty Studio Lash Eyeliner um, I know that it's Miss Sporty, but I've been using this ever since I started using makeup. This is one of my go-to products. It is super cheap. I think it's $1.99. And it's amazing. It's really easy to do most eyeliner techniques. Got a nice, thin applicator. And one of these lasts ages. One of these will probably last me about five months. And I do winged eyeliner daily. So would definitely recommend you going out and purchasing that. Um, another product that I picked up that I've actually not taken out of its little packet yet because I'm not going to be using it till I'm away is the Rimmel London Volume Flash Scandalised Waterproof Mascara. I usually on a daily basis use the non-waterproof version of this. When you're going away you might want to put mascara on during the day and then everyone's like oh let's go swimming and you're like oh god I'm gonna like a panda. Here is the solution to that problem. Shove waterproof mascara on instead, and you're sorted. I personally don't really rate number seven makeup, but for my mum, she has super, super sensitive skin, and it's the only makeup she's found that doesn't make her react. And she bought so much that they gave her this cute little uh, gift purse. Inside were four items of makeup that I actually quite like, so I persuaded her to let me keep this one. The first thing was Protect and Perfect um day cream i don't know what age i meant to start using day cream but i thought you can never be too soon and this is really good it actually works as quite a good primer to make it also um a little lilac purple eyeshadow i just thought it was really cute what shade is this it doesn't say what shade it is but i think this is really cute got their extreme length like a little sample size of their extreme length mascara which is not great 
if you want really, really thick lashes, but if you're going for a kind of like a more natural effect, that is a good one to do. And this lipstick, which I have been loving. Um, it's kind of like an orangey pinky colour and I think it's really nice. It looks quite natural but quite not at the same time. I don't know how that makes sense but I really like this. The first one was the Heel Genius Foot Cream. I don't know if there's such a light glare in here. It was the Heel Genius Foot Cream. Um, I bought this because I really like their hands food and I also have their one that you put gloves on overnight for your hands. And this is the same, you put this on before you go to bed, put loads on, on your feet, put the socks on, sleep and you wake up and your feet are amazing. I use this once and my feet are fine now, literally once. And then I'll probably need to use it again in a month or maybe a bit on holiday. But this is amazing. Are the Soap and Glory Glad Hair Day Shampoo and Conditioner. The reason I picked these up is because uh, my brother's sister, I've seen uses it. I don't know if she rates it or not, but I've seen it in their bathroom anyway. And I thought, oh, might try that because I'm a big fan of Soap and Glory products. So anything that, you know, is by them, I do like to give a try. Um, and also, it says it has a no build-up formula, which means you can use it daily. Now, this would be really good for holiday, because if you're going swimming and stuff, you do wash your hair a lot. So you don't want something that's going to leave your hair quite weighted. So I thought I'd give this a try, and I've been using it a bit like, before I go. Oh my gosh, it smells I can't even describe it, it's amazing. It's like raspberries and berries and fruit is just like popping at you. And then afterwards, you just find yourself like. <sighs> that is literally what you're like afterwards. And in the shower, you don't want to leave because it smells so good in there. So, yeah, that's just that. Okay, so thank you very much for watching my video. Um, I won't be posting one next Sunday after saying I'm back. That's because I'm in Portugal, and while I'm there, I will be doing two videos for you that I'll be posting the day I get back. And if for a fact that one of those is going to be my kind of outfits of the day, like my Portugal lookbook, if you like, and um, the other one will probably just be kind of like a general vlog of the fun stuff that I get up to while I'm there. So thank you for staying with me. I know I've not posted in a while. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe and comment anything you want me to do down below if you like my hauls tell me if you don't tell me and i'll stop doing them for you and i'll see you all very soon have a good easter bye also hey. I'm, I'm filming dad filming oh. sorry i thought that looked cool and inside glory are their glad hair day why is this dripping on me uh look at this it's dripping right the sleeves are being rolled up